isn't it, for a nice hot cup of tea? And of course, another review. Today we're bringing you the Northeast Stand Mark V gas blowback rifle. So the Northeast Stand Mark V comes in the same uh, packaging as the Stand Mark II, a very similar box with Mark V, of course. Um, inside the box, you will find some menus and some warnings. Um, got the gun here, absolutely beautiful. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to actually get that Magwell and that stock and salt. Let me show you how. So out of the box, um, our stand replica will come like this with the Magwell in a downward position. We will need to lock that into place before we can actually use it. So uh, what do we need to do is to actually pull this pin and lock it into place with that little groove that's right here. So let's just pull that out. And we will need to make sure that this pin is locked right into place. Nice down. And we're not ready to go yet. So um, in the warning uh, section of the menu, it actually states that this cannot be fired without the stock being um, installed. So we'll need to lock the stock into place uh, with this little groove right there, which sits onto the pistol grip. And if you lock it into place, push that in, push it up, we're good to go. So now this is ready to be played. So with the Northeast and Mark V, we've got an immaculate piece of replica here. Now with the Mark V, uh, notable differences to the Mark II um, is the Lee Enfield adjustable front sight, a pistol grip, a pistol foregrip, as well as a forwarded trigger and a pistol grip uh, made of wood as well. Now, fixed stock is very nicely crafted as well with a brass butt plate and it's just beautiful. So the replica itself is a one-to-one -one scale, which means you will be able to fit most likely real parts on it, uh, such as the number seven, number seven bayonet we've got here. And that will lock into place just nice. So the Northeast stand replicas are a very faithful replica to the real ones um, in the sense that it actually includes a lot of uh, serial numbers and markings on the gun. Um, notably, you'll see the M78 on the stand Mark V, uh, which says it's from uh, Elkington and Company in Birmingham, uh, serial number of the gun on the underside of the Magwell, and you will see factory numbers on the uh, front side as well as on the stock piece itself. So a uh, very, very nice replica here. Test one, two, one, two, spin mark five. Cool thing about this gun, unlike um, other manufacturers out there, which uh, kind of go cheapskate on certain materials, um, Northeast didn't do that. So everything that's meant to be steel is steel. Uh, that means your selector, your trigger, trigger guard, uh, bolt handle, rear sight, sling mount, uh, even a stock piece. Everything is steel. So, very impressive from Northeast. Okay, so we're going to test the uh, gas efficiency uh, with a mag dump, uh, see if we can uh, finish off the mag with a full auto mag dump. So uh, we've got the mag here that's already filled up with BBs. Um, once again, I recommend not to fill, overfill it with gas. Uh, we'll do six seconds on this, roughly. Once again, we're using propane. Let's give it a go. Awesome, 
selector right there. Yep, so that's finished it and much more. Uh, so the open bolt system doesn't have a uh, lock back, uh, so you won't know when you're finished. But I believe you could set it um, on the follower here. Personally, I don't recommend it because your nozzle will be directly smashing into that follower. So uh, it's really up to you, really. Let's see uh, what the gas efficiency is like with the SM Mark V. Uh, we're gonna fill the mags with one fill of gas and um, see how many shots it does. Let's give it a go. So the trick is to not overfill the uh, mags with uh, gas. Um, I recommend about six seconds or so. Um, let's give it a go. Right. That's about 32, one without BBs. Let's fill that up. Second mag. Three shots, one without BBs. I think there's some inconsistency with the feeding. So it's Mac. Awesome. So that's another 14 shots. So we have about 70 odd plus shots uh, with one fill of gas. So that's pretty good. And uh, we're using propane. In terms of accuracy and uh, gas efficiency, I would have to say as a gas blow break rifle, the gas efficiency is just incredible. So I feel like it is slightly more gas efficient 
than the Stan Mark II S uh, that we reviewed previously. Um, I think it has something to do with the boat traveling. I believe that the uh, Stan Mark V doesn't travel all the way as far as the Stan Mark II and the Mark II S. So um, it's a shorter boat travel. Now um, I think it's got something to do with the forward uh, trigger group as well as the uh, pistol group. And gas efficiency wise, extremely great. Now with accuracy, um, as a gas blowback, I wouldn't say it is the greatest. But the uh, Sten rifle, uh, the rear one, was never known for accuracy, uh, more of a trench gun. So um, in terms of accuracy, I would say it's the most, it's not the most accurate gas blowback I fired, but it certainly isn't too bad. So um, if you're trying to hit a man-sized target about 20 to 30 meters out, um, there's definitely no issues there. So we're going to try the uh, Mark V out in the field. Uh, I'm going to put semi and full auto true. Uh, I'm shooting at that tree, which is about 40 meters approximately. Well, let's give it a go. Despite being a World War II replica, um, is it a skirmishable airsoft gun by all means? And um, we've got a uh, short video here where I brought this out to uh, the field and it was going against uh, all your modern day electric guns uh, with high cap magazines. And I can safely say that yes, um, it was very fun to use this gun and it's definitely skirmishable. Um, I wouldn't say for long range shooting, but it was never the intention of this gun. Don't shoot the yellow vest. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and his camera. Uh, uh, yes, especially this. You yeah. can shoot me, but don't shoot this. Yeah. Little bit of note, we're just testing the stand gun. Guess what? Well back against all the ages in this field. Everybody is running electric guns, of course. Uh, let's see how we fare. So some of you might be wondering, can I change this out for, um, let's say, a handguard from the Sten Mark, Mark II or um, the uh, suppressor version, the Mark II S? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, you would have to replace it with the outer barrel as well as the handguard unit. So that's interchangeable. Now uh, with the Mark V, um, is the full grip removable? Uh, the answer is yes.
if you're wondering, can I exchange that stock for the Mark II, or the Mark IIs stock? Uh, the answer is no, because the mounting point is actually angled differently, uh, you know, to accommodate the uh, pistol grip. So no, they're not com they're actually not compatible with that modification. So the Sten Mark V uh, was the last of its kind for the Sten series, and uh, it was in service till 1960s, but was replaced by um, the Sterling, uh, which came in 1953. So uh, Sten Mark V is uh, notably used in Operation Market Garden in 1944, and was uh, used all the way up till the Korean War in uh, 1953. Um, so definitely a must sought after replica for any of you uh, reenactors or uh, World War II enthusiasts, especially uh, if you're part of the British or the British uh, Commonwealth. So definitely uh, something to have. Say something? Hey, no, no cat here. Nah, no, 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 no cat.